Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about all the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than two minutes. Simple, fast, and fun. Today we're talking about CMAX and its potential benefits. All this and more in less than two minutes. So what is CMAX? CMAX is a lab-made peptide that mimics adrenocorticotropic hormone, or ACTH. ACTH is located in your pituitary gland and stimulates your adrenal glands to release cortisol. So what are the benefits of CMAX? Before you can understand the benefits of CMAX, we'll first have to go over cortisol, what it is and how it works in the setting of stress. Cortisol is a hormone that's released into your bloodstream when your body undergoes stress. This hormone causes an increase in your heart rate and blood pressure. It's your natural fight or flight response. However, over time, if your body experiences repeated stress, you can begin to feel tired, irritable, depressed, and even experience weight gain. Cortisol also helps your body break down fats and can suppress inflammation. Because of this, CMAX is helpful in those people with cardiovascular disease, blood clots, stroke victims, and those who have inflammation. If you remember from last week, we talked about Selenc. Just like Selenc, CMAX rapidly increases the brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF levels, in the hippocampus. This is important for memory, concentration, and learning. Because of this, CMAX is helpful for those with ADHD. Also like Selenc, CMAX is considered a nootropic peptide because it improves cognitive function and memory. So how do I take CMAX? CMAX is given as an intranasal spray daily. Simply put, you spray it into your nose. You should not use more than your prescribed dose. Studies suggest doses above the maximum amount can actually reduce your response to CMAX. Possible side effects include headaches. Also, since it's a nasal spray, you may experience a stinging or burning sensation in your nose or an unpleasant taste in your mouth. As always, you should tell your healthcare provider about any side effects you think you may be experiencing. You can find out more information at peptides.com, that's peptides without the D, where we're tying all the peptide information together for you in one easy place. Thanks for listening to the Peptide Podcast. We love having you as part of our community. If you love this podcast and like what you've listened to, please share it with our friends and family on social media. And subscribe to our podcast. Have a happy, healthy week.